Over the last few years, fungicides in wheat have become really popular, Darren. And what are you thinking right now when a farmer says, hey, I'm considering applying fungicide. Should I prepay? Should I not? Because I don't know for sure if I'm going to need fungicide in my wheat. Well, it's funny because, you know, when you've got this end of the year timing, uh, the IRS says you need to specify what products you're prepaying right. for. So if you're trying to do that, uh, early this season before the 1st of January, you've got to specify what products you want. Now I know a lot of guys say, boy, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be spraying. Maybe I'll be dry early season. I'm going to spray my fungicides a little later. I might use different products and we'll talk about that. that there's some different products at different times. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with returning a product. So you can no, prepay no. for a product and then you can always return it later and get your money back. So, I mean, just make sure that you're talking to your retailer because this product switch thing does get to be a big deal. And the reason why it does is because there are there's the strobel urine family and there's the triazol family. The strobel urines are basically just preventative. The triazols have a little bit of curative activity, but don't be thinking, you know, oh, I can spray and my crop is completely wiped out and it's going to cure and fix everything. It's not that way, but there is a little curative property. But they're not the, all curative. They're, they're quite a bit of it is preventative as right, well. Right. So they may not last quite as long as some of the strobel urines, but they give you some pretty good protection as well. So there's a couple different families there to think about. With wheat, you know, the breeding just needs to pick it up a little bit because we don't have the disease tolerance bred into these varieties like we do in our corn hybrids or our soybean varieties that we're using today. So we're starting to see more of the big companies invest in breeding yeah, but, on the wheat side. Yeah, but so it should get better uh, 10 years from now. Yeah, but still. When you've got a wheat crop, it, I mean, you've got all these plants that are close together, high populations. They grow early in the season. They hold in lots of moisture that way. So, I mean, you're, you've got an environment there that's much more conducive to have disease problems than you do in corn or soybeans or a lot of other crops that are grown in the country. So I don't think you're ever going to completely solve the problem. Well, no, we haven't completely solved it in corn and soybeans either. <laughs> well, yeah, but you don't completely solve be, with fungicide either. Well, there may be still. some of these diseases we can start breeding some better tolerance in, and I'm, yeah. I'm certain that we will. Okay, but so let's here, get back to this prepay thing. Okay, well, when we talk about prepaying, you got to think about all these things you're going to do because a lot of guys say, okay, well, what am I going to use for broadleaf control? Maybe I'll use some Axial, maybe I'll use some Wide Match or whatever products you're going to use. That's fine. Don't forget about the fungicides, you know. Like our farm, when we plant wheat, we know for sure we're gonna spray fungicides at least twice, no matter what, we will spray them twice because we don't wait until we see disease. We go out and put it out there and prevent that disease from coming. That's the whole thing with fungicides. It's not like weed control. You have to spend that money, put the product out there ahead of time, and then, hey, I hope we don't have those diseases in our fields because we're going to get better yields. But if we do, I've got the protection. Yeah, and so one thing we always say on the show is you've got to run some trials on your own farm because we'll tell you how things have turned out on our farm. We can tell you on average how it is around the country. And quite frankly, on average, fungicide use in wheat, it really pays when you're at the herbicide timing early. And also it usually pays when you're at flag leaf or at heading. So there are three main timings for fungicide use in wheat. And on average, it'll pay for all of them across the whole country. But you need to run some trials on your farm, and especially if you've got varieties that are particularly susceptible, especially if you've had problems in the past, and especially when you're going for really high yields, you got to think about all these things. But you know what? Even in drier areas of the country, guys that are going for lower yields, a lot of times it still pays there. So at least if nothing else, run some trials on your farm this year. Prepay for a little bit of fungicide. Hey, if you change your mind later, you can always return it and get something else. Oh, what I found too is usually when you prepay for something, even if you don't need that, well, I don't need the fungicide, but boy, I might need insecticide or more yeah. herbicide or something like that. So let's get into this just a little bit now. When we talk about three timings, we're talking about early around that herbicide timing. Usually, guys are just using a straight strobel urine or they could be using by a straight triazole. Okay, by strobel urine, we're talking headline and quadris. Straight triazole, there are a number of different products. Tilt and the bumper old, a lot of right, times right, get used in that, early, yep. in that early time period. Then when you get a little bit later on in the season, sometimes there may be some disease already showing up on your plants. This is where we see a lot of the combination products getting used. you got a little triazole in there, a little bit of strobel urine in there, so you've got some preventative, and you also have something in so case a little like disease quilt, started. So things like Quilt, Quilt XL, Stratego, Stratego Yield, those types of products. Then, then when we get towards heading time, once those heads are out and you're at about 15% flowering or so, you are so susceptible to head scab if you happen to have uh, the and right you, conditions for that and disease. And you have to spray a straight triazole, so we're talking Folicure, Caramba, 
and Presaro. So those are the products you'd use at heading. And the other thing we're worried about at that timing is stripe rust. A lot of times, especially in the northern part of our country, that's about the time that stripe rust hits us and you also get great protection from stripe rust with these triazole fungicides. Yeah, so once again, we just want you to be considering fungicides, be thinking about it because it's not just herbicide you're gonna need to have a great wheat crop most years. Well, another thing you're gonna have to be thinking about going into this next year is our Weed of the Week. It's coming up next.